Hi, this Boost Your BIM video is going to show how we can use the Revit API to duplicate uh, area schemes uh, and the associated areas and area tags and boundary lines. Uh, the one limitation we'll see here is that when we're creating area boundaries via the API, I mean, sorry, when we're creating them via the user interface, there's an option here for apply area rules, and this is what uh, offsets these area lines either to the inside or outside faces of these walls. Uh, that option is not available through the API. Uh, so all area boundary lines will be created um, as if that was turned off, uh, which uh, may or may not work for your specific application. But in this case, uh, the user named uh, Cillian who requested this, he's working in Finland. And he said he doesn't care about those area rules, so here's the tool. So I have an area plan in a gross building area scheme, a couple areas, some tags. This one has a, a leader and elbow, and area boundaries associated with this scheme as well. We can run the tool with this uh, area plan active. And you can see it creates a new plan. Uh, this is now in a scheme called Gross Building 1. The boundary lines, tags, and areas are identical. Again, with the exception of the fact that the uh, area lines are not following the area rules. And therefore, uh, in this case, we will see that the areas are slightly different. You can take a look at the code now. Uh, this is going to start off by... Uh, finding the existing view, checking that it's an area plan. Uh, then we get that area scheme from the view and the views level. Find all of the area boundary lines in that view using the views ID and the filter. Then similarly find all of the areas and all of the area tags. We create a new transaction. We copy the area scheme and then uh, go through a little loop here to make sure we have a unique name for that new area scheme. Create a new area plan using that scheme and the level from the uh, starting view. We'll set the scale of that new view. Then copy the area lines uh, from the existing view into the new view. Uh, I looked at using new area boundary line to create the new lines, but again, since we don't have an option for apply area rules, we have the same uh, outcome either way. Then start going through the individual areas, and uh, for each area, we are going to get the location uh, point of that area, use that to create a new area in the uh, newly created view. We'll set the area type of that area and then start iterating through the tags, getting their location, which is either the tag head position or the leader end, uh, placing the tag using the new area tag method, so then setting various properties, uh, setting the rotation if it has model orientation, and uh, setting a leader elbow if there is a leader. And then finally, we activate the newly created view. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, Boost Your BIM video. And this tool, like all the others in this set, are available in the uh, Terrific Tools Bitbucket repository. Have a great day.